On the storm watch, a bitter blast of Arctic air has descended on most of the country, with many states predicted to be below freezing this morning. Almost the entire nation is currently experiencing freezing cold temperatures. In the Midwest and South areas not used to such cold snap, the extreme temperatures are leading to problems. 90% of the nation started 2018 with temperatures below freezing, causing all sorts of dangerous conditions. These are firefighters in Massachusetts fighting flames while icicles form on their helmets and their ladders. The water freezes on our equipment, um, on our air packs, on our masks. In Houston, temperatures in the low 20s are far from normal. Residents like Simon Caballero are still putting their homes back together after massive flooding from Hurricane Harvey. Many without full walls, let alone insulation, are having trouble keeping the warmth inside. No got no bed, really, no sofa, no chair, no heat. Public schools in Indianapolis are closed because of the extreme temperatures. Over at the Wheeler Mission Shelter, it's a mad rush trying to get the homeless off the streets. This weather's not just, you know, cold, it's, it's deadly. Chunks of ice are being seen in waters from Lake Michigan to the stretch of the Mississippi in Missouri. Even many of those traditional New Year's Day polar bear plunges were canceled due to the cold. At one of the nation's largest in Jackson Port, Wisconsin, it was negative 20 degrees with the windshield. I think we, as humans, we like a challenge. We like to see if we can do it. And a weather system on the East Coast is moving in that could bring snow with all this cold from as far as South Carolina all the way up through Canada. And several big cities reported records that had been around for 100 years were broken over the last few days, most notably Omaha, Nebraska, which broke a 130-year-old New Year's Day mark of 20 degrees below zero.